Hey everybody, Catsip TV, and with the novel coronavirus COVID-19 dominating the news and our lives, we thought it would be a perfect time for some real talk about what viruses are and how they work. At their most essential, viruses are free pieces of genetic material, DNA or RNA, that can only replicate inside the cells of other living entities. This makes them different from bacteria, which are organisms in their own right. Indeed, viruses can infect bacteria. More on that later. Viruses either enter a cell using the structure of their protein shells called capsids or inject their genetic material directly into the host cell. Once inside, the viral genome takes over the protein building machinery of the host cell, including the ribosomes and my favorite, the Golgi apparatus. It then proceeds to build proteins that in turn facilitate the replication of the viral genes and construction of new shells, which are then assembled and released from the host cell. Pretty ingenious, actually. However, the process of viral replication leaves the cells severely damaged and it usually dies as a result. Most human infecting viruses are polyhedral or spherical in shape and enter the cells in their entirety. By contrast, many bacteria infecting viruses or bacteriophages have these rather menacing looking robot-like shells that attach to the exterior of the bacterium and inject their genetic material. Whether or not viruses are themselves living things is a matter of debate, given that they can only replicate inside of other living beings. But their genetic aspects, including self-preservation and replication, do suggest the essence of life. Coronaviruses are a family of exceptionally large RNA viruses. They get their name from their spherical protein shell and trumpet-like coronets on the surface. Coronaviruses are quite common. They are the source of the common cold, but some varieties can cause very serious diseases, such as SARS and the current COVID-19. Infection into humans and other animals begins once a coronavirus enters the body, usually through inhalation. But the real infection begins once individual viruses start attaching to cells and beginning the process of replication as described earlier. The virus behind COVID-19 is far more damaging than a common cold, though the exact process by which the virus triggers severe disease is still being investigated. As we continue to move through the current pandemic, please continue to practice social distancing and hand washing. If you're under orders to stay in, stay in. And for God's sakes, if a vaccine becomes available, please get it. And now, a little bit about the background music you've been hearing in this video. We of course wanted to use an Axis virus for this video. Although we don't have one at HQ, we did find some great samples. We then added the Biotech Virtual Instrument from Traction. And then we added an 80s-like industrial rhythm using the CMIV from Arturia. And then we finally put it all together. Thanks for watching. Check out more at www.catsynth.com. And please subscribe to CatSynth TV.